Good morning, chicks. It's time for us to do our Read Write Ink lesson now. So make sure that you're sitting on your bottoms with your legs crossed, hands in laps, nice straight backs, and looking at me, magnet eyes. Fantastic, well done. Now, for this lesson, we're going to be doing some writing. So make sure that you all have your whiteboard and your whiteboard pens, and we will begin. So I'm going to put my lid on the end so I don't lose it. And today we're going to practice doing our long ladder letters. These ones, they're letters that go down. So, whoops, our long ladder letters are all of these ones. So first we're going to have a go at practicing the sound. Oh, because all goes down, doesn't it? Down the long leg flick. Down the long leg flick. Let's have a go at that one. Ready? So we'll start over in the, the left top hand corner. Down the long leg flick. And you have a go. Super job. Well done, that's an easy one, isn't it? Now we're going to have a go at I. I for insect. Because that one goes down as well. Down the insect's body. Flick. And a dot for his head. So let's leave a little space. And then down the insect's body. Flick. And a dot for his head. I. And you have a go. Great job. Well done. Okay. Our next sound is J. J. For Jack in the Box. Because that one goes down, it goes down his body, and then a curl and a dot for his head. Okay, ready? Down his body, curl, and a dot for his head. J. You have a go. Remember, the curl goes the other way, doesn't it? The I is a little flick, but the J is a big curl that goes the other way. Great job, well done. Okay, the next sound is t, t for tower. And we go down the tower, flick, and across the tower. Ready? Down the tower, flick, and across the tower. So you have a go. Down the tower, flick, and across the tower. Super job. Okay, the next sound is a uh, for umbrella. So we go down the umbrella first and then we go up and then back down and then draw the puddle flick. Okay, ready? Down and under, up to the top and then down and draw the puddle flick. You have a go. Good job. Okay, our last sound is y, y for yak. And first we go down the horn, then we go up a horn, and then we go under his head. So down the horn, up a horn, and under his head. Ready? Down the horn, up a horn, under his head. Can you have a go? Down the horn, up a horn, and under his head. Y. Yeah. Remember, if you get it wrong, just rub it out and have another go. Just practice, it doesn't matter. Okay, great. When you have finished those, make sure you rub your board so it's nice and clean, ready for our green words. Okay, so when you've done that, pop that in front of you, pop your pen in front of you, and we'll have a bit of a brain break. Are you ready? So let's give our fingers a stretch. Super. And our other hand. And let's stretch our thumb. 
and our pita pointer and our tummy toe and our ruby ring and our baby small stretch and our other hand our tummy thumb and our pita pointer and our tummy toe and our ruby ring and our baby small really stretch and then let's stretch them together stretch stretch fantastic squeeze hard as you can and let's give them a rub very good let's give our arm a shake give our arm a shake and our other arm a shake and let's give our shoulders a shake and our head a shake and let's give our whole body a shake shake those wiggles out fantastic okay so looking at me and now we are ready to do a couple of green words so we need to give fred a shout quickly don't we let's see if he can help us with our green words ready fred hmm, can you see him anywhere children i'll have a look over here a minute no i can't see him there oh was he down there was he oh, he's cheeky i'll have a look down there a minute hmm. fred Fred? Oh, he's down there. Fred, are you down here? Let's have a look. Hmm, I can't see him down there either. I'm not sure. Let's give him another shout. Fred! Oh, there he is in my scarf, you cheeky frog. <laughs> now, Fred, we would like to invite a couple of green words from the story that we did yesterday called Hug Hug. Do you remember? You were hugging your teddy, weren't you, Fred? You were. So let's see if we can find our green words. Here they are. Which word would you like to write first? Let's have a look. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Sort of a word. Oh, you would like to write the word Hug. Have a listen. Hug. Hmm, what's Fred saying? Hug. Hug. Well done. Okay, so let's use our Fred fingers to do the word hug. Can you show me zero? Ready? Hug. 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 What's the first sound we need? Good listening, well done. Off you go, Fred. <sighs> then we need to go down the horse's head to his hoofs and over his back. You have a go. Super. Okay, so we've done. <gasps> What's next? <gasps> ah, well done, good listening. <gasps> Ugh. There's an up in the middle. So we need to do down under the umbrella, up to the top, down and draw the puddle, flick. So down and under the umbrella, up to the top, down and draw the puddle, flick. Will you have a go? Super. Okay, so we've done ah. Uh, what's next in hug? Ah, uh, g, great listening, well done. So g, we need to go round her face, down her hair, and give her a curl. You have a go, round her face, down her hair, give her a curl. G, g, g. So now we've got ah, uh, g, hug. Did you write the word hug? Super, well done. Okay, pause me if you need to catch up. Otherwise, let's rub that one out and we'll see which word Fred would like to do next. So have a look, Fred. Which other green word would you like to do? Oh, Fred said he would like to write the word t-ed. T-ed. Hmm, which word does Fred want to write? Have a listen. T-ed. 
Yes, if you were thinking Ted, you're right. Do you remember Fred had a teddy called Ted? Yeah, that's Fred's favourite teddy. Let's see if we can write Ted. Show me zero. Ready? Ted. T. E. D. Ted. T. E. D. Ted. What sound comes first? T. I've turned down the tower. Flick and across the tower. T. Let's see which one comes next. Ted. T. E. If you said E, eh, you're right. It's good listening. So we need to lift off the top and scoop out the egg. E. Eh. Okay. Ted. Oh, hang on. Give you some time to write that. So you lift off the top and scoop out the egg. Have you done that one? Great. Just remember to pause me if you need more time. Okay. So we're doing Ted and we've done T and E. Eh. T, E, eh, D. There's a D at the end, isn't there? Okay, so to do a D, we need to do round the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. Flick. Do round the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet, flick. You have a go. Okay, so you should have t, e, d, ted. Pause me if you need to catch up. If not, well done. We're going to rub that out now so we've got the clean board. There we go. Right, and now we're going to have a go at doing the red word that we learned yesterday. Can you remember what it was? It was my, my. So, when we write our red words, remember we can't sound them out using Fred Fingers, can we? Because the tricky monsters have changed the sounds. We just need to keep them in our brain box. So, let's look at this word for... 10 seconds and then we can cover it up and then have a go at writing it. Are we ready? So look at it with your magnet eyes. Think about which letters you can see. Ready? Okay, we're going to cover it up now like that. And I'd like you to have a go at writing it on your whiteboard. I'm going to have a go at writing it too. Think about which letters you could see. If you can't think of all of them, don't worry. Just write the ones that you can remember. Okay, I've written mine too. Let's have a look. So you should have an M and a Y. If you've got a M and a Y, give yourself a tick. If you could only remember the M, maybe you could do the Y next to it. If you've got the letter wrong, just rub it out and write it again. I'll hold it up for you. So M. And y, my. Well done if you got it right. Now let's rub that one out so it's nice and clean. And let's have a little brain break before we write our sentence. Okay, are we ready? So let's give our shoulders a tap. Let's give our head a tap. Let's give our tummies a tap and our legs. And let's give our chin a tap and our cheeks and our nose. Fantastic. Let's give our ears a rub. Great. Well done. Let's give our elbows a tap. And let's give our bodies a shake, 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 shake these wiggles out. Oh, are they all out? Keep going. Fantastic. And stop. Okay, we're going to have a go at holding a sentence in our head and writing it. So let's have a look at our story from yesterday. It was called Hug Hug, wasn't it? Hug Hug. 
and we're going to go to the last page and we're going to have a go at writing this sentence. This is my Ted. So let's have a go at saying that sentence five times so it really sticks in our head, in our brain box. Are you ready? This is my Ted. Can you help me? This is my Ted. This is my Ted. This is my Ted. This is my Ted. Five times. Is that sentence stuck in your brain box yet? Not quite. Let's have a go at saying it in some funny voices. Ready? Let's do a robot voice. This is my Ted. Let's have a go at a quiet voice. This is my Ted. Super. And let's have a, look, a go at a big, giant, loud voice. This is my Ted. <laughs> That's funny. Let's have a go at doing a squeaky mouse voice. This is my Ted. Fantastic. Is it stuck in your brain box now? See if you can say the sentence to me. Super. This is my Ted. So the first word we need to write is this. So get your whiteboards. And let's have a go on our Fred fingers at writing this. 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 So the first sound is th for thank you. So we need to do a, th a t and a h t and a h make a th sound. But remember, this is the beginning of our sentence, so we need to do a capital t first, okay? So capital T goes across and down. As if you can do a capital T. And we're done. And then a H. So together they make the sound. Thank you. Okay. Has everybody done the F sound? Let's see what comes next. Remember, we're writing this. I. Okay. Can we have a go at doing I down the insect's body? Stop for his head. Super. I. Slither down the snake. Okay. I. This. Everybody done that? If you need to catch up, just pause me. Okay, remember our sentence is, this is my Ted. So our next word is, is. So we need to leave a finger space because is, is a new word. So let's do is on our Fred fingers. I, s, is. Just two sounds. So finger space. And then is. Ready? I, s, is. Can you have a go? So, I, s, is. This is my. Our next word is my. Now, can you remember which letters we use to write the word my? M and y. M, y. Have a look at our tricky monster, my. M and y. So you have a go. So finger space. Oops. And then M and y. Oops, <laughs> that was a bit wonky, wasn't it? That's a bit better. There we go. You have a go at writing it. So, mm and a y. My. Okay, 
So now we've written, this is my, hmm, what was at the end of our sentence? This is my Ted. Fantastic. Now I've not got any room to write Ted there, so I'm going to go down here. And we're going to write Ted. So let's use our Fred fingers. T -e -d. T-E-D. So T first. end of our sentence so we need a full stop. This is my Ted full stop. So pause me if you need to catch up. If you've finished that sentence well done. You can use your board rubber to rub out your writing and then it's all ready for tomorrow. So I'll put that down. Make sure your lids are on your pens. Great job, well done. You've done a super job and I will see you tomorrow for our next story. Bye.